I think what's unfortunate sometimes where the, some of our greats and some of our role models and some of our leaders is that we don't appreciate them until they're gone. Um, and I think that's unfortunate. Um, but I think uh, in Muhammad's case, um, I, I hope we was able to appreciate him uh, from the time that he was set or stepped foot in on earth and, um, and along his path uh, from a kid all the way to a teenager, all the way to an adult, and um, you know, to a father, and so on and so on. Um, you know, his his legacy um, will obviously live on. And uh, um, it's funny. Last night uh, we were uh, back at the hotel, and uh, a good friend of mine, or a role model friend of mine, who actually um, grew up in the same hometown as Muhammad Ali, and kind of around the same age. Um, he put on uh, last night on, on the TV where we were, um, the Thriller in Manila, um, the fight between Ali and Frazier. And um, it, was, <laughs> it was just an unbelievable pound for pound yeah. slugfest, but just two greats just, um, just seizing the opportunity and seizing the moment to be in, to doing what they love to do. And, um, you know, just uh, sent a lot of emotions through all of us, just uh, just in that room watching it. And, um, you know, like I said, I had an opportunity to meet him a few times. Um, and for him to be able to uh, fight the, the disease that he had for so long, I think three decades he had that disease for, and, um, and still be able to recognize and do the things that he wanted to do and live on. Um, he's, a, he's a powerful man. Thank you. Emilio?